Instagram Live is not working for me. So I'm recording this video and I'm going to upload it to my IGTV because I want to talk about this. Okay. A current affair reached out yesterday or the day before and told me they were going to run a story on me last night. If you've been following my posts and all of my reposts, you'll be, you will see what's been going on. Um, but last night, a current affair did not run the story. Is that because Lauren Goldman didn't actually do her research before she reached out to me for an interview? Because one of the programs that she listed isn't even my program. It's my sister's program. Is it because Lauren Goldman hasn't actually spoken to anyone who has done my program? Because if she did, she would know that every woman who has been through my Liberate Her program has had nothing but incredible results and nothing but amazing things to say. In fact, all of those girls reached out last night, posted on my own, commented, commented on my own post saying, please, Reach out to me. If you're going to do a story on a current affair about Liberate Her program, I think it's only fair that you actually interview the people, the participants that have been involved in this program. Because the lies and the deceit and the manipulation is clear as day when you have reporters from a current affair who are trying to make up stories to literally twist and defame someone. For example, the stories that are run on a current affair usually only happen if someone has written in, right? If a consumer is angry about a product they bought, a service they received, they are angry and they want to make a complaint, then that's usually when a current affair runs a story, right? But no one has ever complained about buying PXP of me, the results that they've got from PXP. No one has complained about my making informed choices workshops. Anyone who's been to those workshops, there have been no complaints that have come out of that. And there has been no one who's complained about my Liberate Her program. So the question is, if no one is complaining about my products that I'm selling out or my services that I am giving out that people are buying into, I'm not forcing anyone to buy into anything that I'm selling or I'm providing, then why is the current affair running with a story where they're trying to make me out to be somebody that I'm not? Why are they pinpointing this Liberate Her program that has already been run and now the second intake is open, specifically at a time when my husband is not in the country, coincidentally, the same time or the same situation experience when the current affair ambushed me when a Lauren Goldman ambushed me late at night with my baby in my arms they stalked me and they ambushed me because I knew my husband wasn't with me at that restaurant that night so again ask yourself when you're watching these stories and you can see the reporting what is their agenda why are they targeting certain people why are they targeting me because when you actually start to think about it and start to see the lies and the actual bullshit that they're trying to make a story out of, like it's actually insane. It's insane the fact that even when I've told a current affair to stop contacting me, they are still contacting me. Lauren Goldman is still watching what my family is doing. In fact, Lauren Goldman is now watching all of the stories of what my um, friends and families and people who have shown support is now watching all of those stories too. So this is the thing. Is she going to write another article about herself, about how she was bullied and harassed after she bullied and harassed me? Like how freaking ironic. Is there another article article that's going to come out saying that Taylor Winterstein or Tade's Way Movement followers and tribe are harassing me or harassing this reporter when the original harassment and the bullying and the stalking actually came from the reporter herself? Like how fucking ironic, seriously. Like get a fucking grip. The fact that a current affair are continually, are continually looking at what I'm doing and they're still reaching out, even when I've told them to stop contacting me, is literally grounds for an AVO. Like that shit is stalker, like stalker material. And I don't appreciate it and my family doesn't appreciate it either, especially when we have done nothing wrong. <sighs> I have every right to be angry, frustrated, annoyed about this and I have every right to come on my page and talk about this and post about it because when the media tries to attack me again and again and again sooner or later people are going to find out the truth you can come to my social media pages you can find out what I'm about that's the best thing about social media is the fact that if you want to find the truth of somebody you can actually go straight to their page and make up your own mind like make up your own mind for yourself actually have a read of my pages and my posts and my videos take the time to understand and you'll see exactly who I am, what my message is and what I'm here to do and what I'm, what I'm trying to do for families, especially. I hope that, I hope that this story actually does run. 
I hope that, that it does because if anything, it will just show that Lauren's investi investigative journalism isn't that great because she's wants to interview me about a program that's not even my program. So it just shows you how much time she's actually taken to have a look at what she's actually reporting before asking me for an interview. And again, I'll say no one in my program has had contact with the current affair to do an interview. No one has complained. So what is this story actually going to be about? Because if no one's actually com actually complained, then it's a witch hunt. It's defamation. It's trying to assassinate my character and they can try all they like, but at the end of the day, I'm still going to be here showing up online as me in five years, 10 years, 15 years time to come. I'm still going to be here. And at the end of the day, reporters like Lauren have to go to sleep with themselves at night and I can go to sleep every night with a clear conscience and still stay in my integrity because I know I'm not stalking other people's families to get a sensationalized headline just to sell newspapers or just to get people to watch the segment or just to get the clickbait. I get to stay in my integrity and stay in my authenticity, even when hundreds of thousands of people have turned against me or they're trying to take me down, even though journalism Journalists are trying to take me down and write sensationalized headlines about myself and my family that are not true. I get to choose and I choose to stay in my integrity and I choose to stay in my authenticity and I choose to call mainstream media out because I'm allowed to do that. And it's time we fucking start to call them out one by one and actually get them to face up to the bullshit that they are trying to construe or manipulate or get out to the masses that is not true. Love you guys.